don't forget to subscribe all right guys so the first thing we're going to do is click on the first link in the description it's going to bring you to this page here all we're going to do on this page is download the emulator itself uh what we're going to do is hit that button right there download 64 bit uh it's going to bring you to a second page don't worry it's just giving you more options based on your computer um for this purpose we have our pc or windows we're going to select that and just hit download it's only a 20.3 MB, so it's gonna be quick. For step two, what we need to do is get the firmware. So I usually use this site here. All we're gonna do is just come down here and click the PS3 firmware 4.88. Um, just hit the download button. It's gonna take about a minute or two. It's about 200 MB. Um, I will link other sites that you could get this from in case one is not working. Okay guys, so now that we have the emulator itself and we have the firmware, now we're gonna do the setup. So I use WinRAW, so that's why I threw everything on the desktop. All I'm gonna do from here is just right click it and go to WinRAW and then extract to RPCS3. Uh, that's gonna give me a whole folder to work with. It's not gonna scatter things all around. That's the benefit of using WinRAW. I'm actually gonna toss this out now. Um, so now that we have the folder here and we have the firmware here, you, what you could do is just automatically just throw that in there and then go into the folder itself and now it's time to set it up. So we're gonna click on the RPCS3. Okay, so the first message pop up. To not see this message again, cause this will continually pop up every time you um, start the emulator. All we're gonna do is hit do not show again. And I have read the quick start guide menu. I continue. Okay, so now that the emulator is open, what we wanna do is go to file, install firmware, and let's go find the folder itself. So I placed it on the desktop and we're gonna click that right there, open it. And here's the biggest uh, mistake that you know people might make or you might come to uh, uh, trouble with, I guess. It's a better way to say it. Um, if you see right there on that menu where it says PS3 update file, and you notice that we placed the PUP file in here, but we can't find it right now. So what you wanna do is actually click that menu and then click all PUP files. So once you do that, you should find it right there. All right, guys, now that the firmware is done uh, installing, we're gonna go through a few important things. Uh, the first one I will recommend is just basically how to set up your controller. Um, now, once you plug in your controller, you can just come right there to the handlers and then choose the right one. So that either being DualShock or DualShock 4, 3 or 4 for the PlayStation, uh, XI input for the Xbox, and then keyboard if you wanna go keyboard. Now, I'm an Xbox uh, controller guy, so I'm gonna choose that. And then if I wanna change anything, I just click on it and it will give you a few seconds to choose the button that you wanna switch it to. So once that's done, all we wanna do is just hit the save button. Uh, the next thing we want to do is to add your games. So you're going to come right here to file, add games. Now, if you've seen from the beginning of the tutorial, I already made a folder and I had it on the desktop with all my games. So I'm just going to come there and choose that and then hit select folder. So the game is fully functional. Um, remember to subscribe if you're not. Definitely hit that like button. The PC recommendation to run this emulator will be in the description or I might just put it on the video. Uh, yeah, and catch you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.